because Lauren Hemp is in again down the left hand side. White will be the target just beyond her and into the arms of Mackenzie Arnold. A promising start, a sign of intent from City. And West Ham being pushed back in the early stages. Got Becky on the right. That's a really good ball by Jess Park. There's three in the middle again. All the way through and somehow wasn't touched home. White and Hemp both close to the action. Hemp with the final touch, agonising for City. Brilliant play by Jess Park, initially bringing the ball infield, then turning to feed the ball out. There, Becky. Nice ball into Park. And she's into the danger area. Jess Park, where she nudged to the ground. The referee very firmly says no. Helen Conley. As Park bustled her way in, and it was... Certainly worth a shout and certainly worth asking the question, which I think Caroline Weir is still asking. Longhurst pushing Park surely to the ground. A glancing header from Ellen White. Tops wide of the post. Strange to see her still searching for her first goal of the season. I'm sure it won't be far off coming. Last time we've got to play it down. As flat, he can't find Sissoko. And here is a chance for Hemp. It's saved by Mackenzie Arnold. Best chance of the half, falling the way of Lauren Hemp. Meanwhile, West Ham asked questions about a potential earlier foul. Hemp pressing well and pressing high. And almost providing herself with an assist. Greenwood's corner. It's Weir, and it's White. And it was a brilliant block that denies City taking the lead. And denies Ellen White striking her first goal of the season. Ball out to Yallop. Has it Gower making the diagonal run? Walker, Svitkova, Brynjars Dotter, all inside the penalty area. That's a teasing ball, and Brynjars Dotter has given West Ham the lead. Well, they've come with real ambition, West Ham. They've certainly asked more questions than they have on their previous visits to the Academy Stadium. And closing in on half-time, they get themselves a goal. Ball delivered in from the right side from Yazi Gower. There were three waiting, maybe even four. Brynjars Dutter pulling away at the far post. The downward header out of the reach of Karima Tide. Her first goal of the season gives West Ham a big goal. Here come the Hammers again and Taib in action to turn the ball away from Tamika Yallop. They're not just going to defend in the second half. West Ham with intent to go and get a second. Yallop let fly with a a very handy right-footed shot. Good positioning from the goalkeeper. Weir. Look at the space here for Caroline Weir. Not afraid to shoot. A ball that just glided over the bar. Started to dip, but it was too late. To trouble the back of the net. It was a shot that was clearly troubling Mackenzie Arnold. Backpedalling towards her own goal. We have saw some special goals from that kind of distance. Will they get one more chance? Maybe. This is short. The substitute with a shot low into the near post. Pushed away by Mackenzie Arnold. Again, not a convincing save, but it's a crucial save. Hemp. Good still to create some space for herself and she fancies another one the substitute Laura Coombs three times has struck from range that one turned away by Mackenzie Arnold who has so often become West Ham saviour in this second half another stop from the Australian keeper there oh Stokes hasn't got the contact and West Ham might seal it right at the death and they have Hazigawa taking full advantage of the rare slip from Demi Stokes. 
to score a goal that will mean a famous victory for West Ham United. They've lost their previous five against City, but they win the sixth here. Final score from the Academy Stadium, City nil, West Ham two.